Hi, my name is Robin Muffet. I'm a developer advocate at Confluent. Today I want to show you how you can use KSQLDB to merge two streams of data in Apache Kafka together into a single one, where you've got like the same entity coming from different places, and also show how you can do the inverse, how you can take one stream of data and split it apart into two based on characteristics within that data. So I'm going to use Confluent Control Center here uh, as my front end for this. You can use the uh, KSQLDB command line interface as well if you'd rather. So over here we can see we've got some topics in our cluster. We've got a topic called Orders and Orders UK. If we click on Orders, we can see the data that sits in that topic and it's got uh, various characteristics. It's got like the order ID, what the item was that we ordered, the address. And within that we can see the address. It's all states in America. So this topic here is going to be one of our source topics that we're going to merge into a combined orders topic. So this one here has got data coming in from the US. And if we go back over to topics, we can see this one here has got data in. It's called Orders UK, but let's just check the contents of it. And we can see here we've got the address here, London, England, uh, West Side, and all the rest of it. That's all data for the UK. So now we're going to take those topics and we're going to create streams on them in KSQLDB. So we're going to head into the KSQLDB application editor. And to start with, we're going to say create stream orders, call it orders US, so we know what's going on here. And that data comes from, so we say with uh, Kafka topic equals orders. And the value format is Avro. So we go and run that. And it says, OK, I've created that. And then we can do one for the UK and again that comes from uh, orders UK and we run that query okay so it's created that so we've got two streams now and we can say orders UK and orders US so we can say like select star from orders UK and we run that and we stick a emit changes on there and now we can see the messages coming in on that source topic but rather than just like dumping out the contents of the topic this time, now we're actually projecting those fields that exist within the schema. That schema came about from the schema registry. It was in Avro when we did that create stream. We said it's Avro. So we went and got the schema for that particular topic. And we can see here again, we've got the address, which is a nested field. Um, and as we saw, I think we can expand that here. We can go and look at the uh, particular details. There's the one. Uh, so this is for data for the UK. So we've got two streams of data coming from somewhere. Maybe we've got like different applications running in different data centers, populating different topics. But logically, it's the same entity. It's information about orders. They've got the same uh, schema. They've got the same characteristics. So let's unify those into a single stream because that's going to be useful if we want to do processing uh, onwards where we want to apply the same kind of transformations and enrichments to that same data. So to do that, we're going to do this. We're going to say create stream. Let's paste this in here. Create stream orders combined. So the first statement we're going to run is say create stream as select. Create a new stream as the results of this continuous select statement. So create stream orders combined as the results of this. So we're saying select everything from the orders stream. So I call that orders US. And we're going to add in a field as the source, so a bit of metadata information saying which stream did it originally come from. It originally came from the US stream because they both have an order ID. We can see down here the UK one, it's got an order ID, it's just an integer. We don't want to have any clashes on that ID because you could have both streams with the same. So we're going to use a concatenation function to concatenate US with a dash separating the, um, the order ID. So now we've got a unique order ID. And you've got order time, the item, and so on from that source stream and partition by sets the key on the message that we write to the target. So let's run that and we say create the stream and that now goes and creates a new stream. We'll see it over on the right hand side in just a moment. It's called orders combined. So that's there. Now this is the neat bit. We can now create another query, another continuous query. So this was one query here, continuous query, with the results of that continuous query inserted into this target stream. We can use a similar concept and now say insert into. So we can insert into an existing stream populating the results of a different select. So now we're saying select UK as the source. We use UK in the key to make it unique. And we're saying select it from orders UK. 
So you can actually have multiple insert into's into the same target object. And this target object, this orders combined stream, is backed by a Kafka topic. So let's run that. And we can now see we've uh, set that insert going and the streams on the right don't change because we've not created a new stream. We've added a new query targeting the same existing stream. So if we say running queries, we can see here we've got an insert into and that's inserting into orders combined. And then orders combined here is being populated by this original query there. So we can see the throughput that we've got. How many messages are we writing in? It's just a data generator in the background generating the same kind of rate of messages. So it's not particularly high throughput because of the rate at which we're inserting the data. But that means we can go over to here and we can say, let's have a look at the data in these streams. So I'll do a select star from orders combined. I'll just say limit, limit 20. So limit changes. And that now shows the data as it comes out. So we've got the key here, which is the order ID with that concatenation. So the source is UK with the order ID like that. The source uh, is an actual column in itself called UK. You've got the order time, the item, and all the rest of it. If we drill into it, we can see here's a, a US one, and you can see that's data from the US. And we've got a UK one here, and we can drill into that, and that's data from the UK. So that's merging two separate Kafka topics, and it could be two or more Kafka topics, which are set up as separate topics for whatever reason. We've got separate applications populating it. We've got the same application deployed in different data centers, populating different topics that we're bringing together, and we're going to unify into a single Kafka topic. If we head over to Kafka topics, we can see we've got a topic called orders combined. And we can override that topic name when we create the unified stream if we want to. By default, it just takes that name of the stream, and here we've got the messages on that Kafka topic. So you can see they're coming in like this. And that's exactly what we told KSQL DB to do. Now let's take the inverse approach and say we've got a stream of data and it's got a characteristic within that data that we would like to use to split the data into two or more different streams. So let's take this orders combined topic that we just created, pretend that the original sources don't exist and see how we could take this combined topic and split it out into different target topics based again on which country the orders belong to. So I'm gonna head over to KSQL DB. We can see we've got this stream here called orders combined. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste these in here. And we're gonna say create a stream order split US, just giving it a different name here as select everything from this original stream where the predicate is true, where source is US. So as I say, let's pretend we don't have that original source data because they were what we used to demonstrate merging the streams. Let's pretend we just have this combined stream of data. We want to separate it into different streams based on a characteristic in the data. So here we're saying create one just for US orders. So we're going to go and do that. We could do the same thing for the UK. So let's paste that in. We're going to say just for the UK orders. So the source is UK and run that. And then we could also say, well, just in case there's other data in there, let's go and create another one, which is for other. So if it's not the US and if it's not the UK, we don't want to ignore those messages, we'll send them to a separate stream again. So each stream in KSQL DB is a topic in Kafka. So for this particular stream here, we can go and look at topics and we can see we've got order split UK and US. You can see that in the uh, KSQL DB window as well. If we head over to that, you can see streams. So we can see each of these particular streams here is backed by a particular Kafka topic and it's serialized in a particular way. So splitting a stream is just a case of saying do a select star from this stream where predicate matches this condition. So as well as splitting it out based on geography and things like that, another common one is where you have a source topic of data in Kafka with lots of different message types within it. And those types could be like different types of business transaction or business events. So we maybe want to create separate streams. So perhaps within a stream of events on a topic, you might have movement information. So you could say, well, one of these movements, it's kind of like it's a, a train moving around the network. One of them is it's being canceled. One of them is it's doing something else. So they're all on that same source stream. But you say, well, if the message type is this, then it's that kind. If the message type is that, then it's this kind. And we could set up a SQL statement saying, select star from this source where message type equals this, go and populate that stream. If the message type is that, go and populate that stream over there. 
So that's how you can merge streams in Kafka using KSQL DB and also how you can split a single topic in Kafka using KSQL DB into separate streams. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for lots more videos all about KSQL DB, Confluent Platform and Confluent Cloud.